Evolving Global Sustainability, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 178. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 178, August 21st, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 25% of the written content for the beliefs lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of beliefs is now 25% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the third 25% of the written part of the beliefs lesson plan. We also completed the first 25% of the mind map for the honesty and integrity lesson plan, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. In order to make meal preparation and cleanup easier, this week the core team researched alternative sinks for the transition kitchen and remeasured the blueprints to ensure they would fit. You can see the alternatives here. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do it yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team created 24 introduction images for the Highest Good Housing page and all the associated open source hubs. What you see here is a collage of all these new images. The core team also put another 10 hours in the behind the scenes revision for the footers, foundations, and flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we're developing. This week, we again updated section one, tools and materials, making corrections related to measurements and proofreading grammar and sentence structure. We also researched soil stabilization and researched and discussed the best size and use of nails to replace barbed wire. We'd say we are now 95% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Sal Rubio, industrial designer, continued working on creating professional, do-it-yourself, earth bag village, Murphy bed furniture assembly instructions. What you see here is week 12 of this process that included exploring a diversity of different header and footer formats. Brianna Johnson, interior designer, also continued evolving the renders for the Straw Bale Village Pod 2. What you see here is an exploded view of one section of the living spaces. Vidya Patil, quantity surveyor and civil CAD drafter, also continued with her fourth week of cost analysis for the Straw Bale Village. This week included updates to all previous room costs and the initial cost research shown here for the public restroom adjacent to the dining area. Dean Scholes, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 32 of his work that focused on adding more foliage to the outside of the central dining and recreation structure, running test renders, 
adding more details to the roof, and creating flat trees for the background. And Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD draftsperson and designer, continued evolving the compressed earth block village pod 4. You can see his fourth week of work here showing the redesign of left living units and social space, group meeting space in the north, and dining area. He also added easier road access for kitchen delivery. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued with his tenth week of Photoshop work on the renders for the shipping container village pod 5. This week he finished these renders of the mezzanine dining area, informal conference room, and the game room. He also created version 1 of this living unit render and this render of the stairway to floor 2. Bupesh Sithala, interior designer and drafter, also completed these final renders of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6 showing the music room, these two showing the game room, these two showing the yoga and meditation room, and this final update version of the gym. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on the Duplicable City Center 3D renders. What you see here are the final render updates for the dining dome north view of the kitchen. The updates include the placement of additional lights in the dry storage and refrigerator rooms, updated outdoor views, door frame corrections, and a floor color update. We also worked on the interior design of the first floor of the social dome, updating the area next to the pool with plants and lights, and testing an artistic butterfly design we will use. Bupesh Sithala, interior designer and drafter, also converted our 3D work on the basement, stairs, and dry storage areas into AutoCAD. And Iris Sue, industrial designer, continued exploring recycled pipe shelving and overhead lighting options for the Duplicable City Center Library. What you see here is round 15 of this work showing our final seven choices for ceiling lighting. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, also continued with her 12th week of work on the lighting zones. This week's progress included adding several additional zones to differentiate areas within the kitchen, social dome, and outdoor zones, and updating the spreadsheet with the new calculations this required. Hayes Lay, structural engineering student, also continued with his 15th week of work on the structural details for the city center. This week's focus was the plan view for beam layout to limit the space between beams to within 24 inches. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Last week, the core team researched and added resource sections to all 13 of our core values pages. You can see a collage of these new sections here, including a link on every page for others to suggest resources they feel would improve the pages, and, where they are complete, mind maps and links to our related lesson plans from the Highest Good Education program. Jennifer Zhao, web designer, additionally completed her sixth week of work developing the new website structure, focusing this week on a responsive header that resizes when the screen is resized. These images show this work in progress. One community is evolving global sustainability to be an open source, free shared, and do-it-yourself industry. Our approach to doing this is to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it as attractive enough so that people want to implement this into their lives all across the world. Our ultimate expression of this would be teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs, purpose to create additional teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs. Making these hubs easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating those attractive enough so that they become self-replicating. In doing this, or to do this, we are creating an evolution of sustainability that open sources the physical foundations of sustainability and combines them with the emotional foundations of sustainability to create an evolution of sustainability that will provide a way of living that most people will find to be better than the way that they're living right now. Of course, physical foundations of sustainability are food, energy, and housing, and the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as crucial 
are highest good approaches to education, fulfilled living practices, highest good economics, which is for-profit, non-profit business creation, as well as true earth stewardship. I'm putting these things together to create that evolution of sustainability and then building teacher demonstration hubs to allow people to experience this way of life, to see for themselves whether or not they feel that it's better than the way they're living right now, and to create a global cooperative of these hubs working together to help others to build teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs too. To do all this, we're bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all. The idea that if we think and create and live for the highest good of all of humanity, we don't need everybody to participate. We only need a small percentage of the population doing this, creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints, all sustainable, all in the highest good. Then by creating this open source and free sharing it and making it do it yourself, doable, replicable. Replicable is either complete teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, or hubs, or as individual components, we can be evolving global sustainability into the open source, free share, do it yourself industry that we know it's capable of being. Spreading this idea through the internet, spreading this idea through, through free plans, through a culture of cooperation, collaboration instead of competition, inviting others to help in the process of, uh, process of evolving global sustainability too, by making it easily accessible, easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough, so it'll spread on its own. This is how we're evolving global sustainability. This is how we're going to make it open source. This is how we're in the process of creating a world that truly works for everybody within our lifetime. So if you do possess the consciousness for the highest good of all, and if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds uh, intriguing, if this sounds like a noble venture or a noble adventure, we invite you to get involved and to join us. We've got lots of different ways to do that ranging from joining the pioneer team, which is the people that will move to the property and build everything that one community is designing, just helping behind the scenes as a volunteer or a collaborative partner, a consultant, to just sharing our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks. We are on LinkedIn, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Facebook, we are on Pinterest and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible. And it's one of the best ways to help us out with very little effort. Our goal is to get our information in the hands of as many people as possible and by making it free shared open source and do it yourself replicable to help that information to spread around the world. Once we reach that tipping point of participation, we will create a sustainable planet. And we're not the only organization moving this direction, but we are one of the very few organizations simultaneously tackling all of the challenges that humanity is facing because we see the challenges of homelessness and starvation and social inequality and injustice and all and educate lack of education, all of these things as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. And if we are going to address one, we feel that we should address them all. And so we're creating a model to do that. Getting our information out is one of the easiest ways that you can help us. Of course, the biggest thing that we're searching for right now is we're still seeking the large-scale funding necessary to purchase the property and get that off the market. We've been working around the same property and building relationships in the same county now for five years, but we don't own the property. So if you or somebody you know has the resources to either donate to one, one community, our 501c3 nonprofit organization, or to invest in one community, then we'd like to talk to you. In the meantime, we are continuing to work on the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints as our primary focus because evolving global sustainability requires that these things be finished just as building on the property requires that these things be finished. And so this is where we're putting our, putting our energy right now. And anybody, as I said, can participate. The global, evolving global sustainability is a group effort. And right now our group is comprised of hundreds of volunteers or has been comprised of hundreds of volunteers right now we're probably about 30 or 40 active volunteers working on everything that we're doing but we're constantly bringing on new team members to help contribute we're a hundred percent volunteer team hundred percent unpaid team doing what we believe is right and what we believe needs to be done and what we believe will be capable of truly actually evolving global sustainability to a new level to an open source and do-it-yourself industry and in so doing that create the world, create a world, the only world that we have, this shared world, as a world that truly meets the needs of every living creature on it sustainably.
So as always, thank you for following our progress. Thank you for the small donations that we get, the $5, the $10, the $15 donations. They really do make a difference because, like I said, we are all unpaid volunteers. So all that goes to help cover our operational expenses, which are really just website expenses. Most Almost everything involved in uh, revolves around website expenses, uh, minimal marketing expenses, things like that. But uh, currently our expenses are still greater than our donations. So thank you to everybody who donates those little amounts, the $5, the $10, the $15, the $25, because running a global organization like ours, even when all of the staff, including myself, are unpaid, still requires a pretty significant expense. And so we appreciate those donations. It makes a big difference. Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for sharing our information. Thank you for following our progress. And, uh, and thank you for your support, the emails, the comments, the shares, the likes, liking this video, sharing this video, all those things really make a big difference to our project. So each week we'd like to say thanks for following our progress. And of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.